Hey everybody, it's Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I am on a public bus right now, just a five minute walk away from the exit of the Giza complex, where you come out after you see the Sphinx. And this video is gonna show you how you can get from your time at the Giza Plateau and the Sphinx back to downtown Cairo. So let's get started. The blue dot on the map shows where I'm at in the bus right now. I got on the bus after exiting at the Sphinx right around here. I walked along this road and got to this green triangle where I got on the bus. Now we're going to get up to Haram Street and we're going to take this street all the way up to Giza and then we're going to head north to Doi where I will get out and get on the metro right around here. Here is the bus number 2001 that you can take from the exit of the Sphinx back to downtown Cairo. So we've gotten started on our way. We are going to be driving through the Haram area and to Giza where I'm going to get out and then hop on the metro and take that just one, uh, two station stops to downtown Cairo, Tahrir Square. This bus costs seven Egyptian pounds. It's not air conditioned, but luckily it's not super crowded and today is a pretty cool day. The bus ticket cost me seven Egyptian pounds or about 50 cents. So there is a ticket person who came around and um, sold tickets. I paid seven pounds for my ticket. And you might want to hold on to it because sometimes they do check those later. Usually, I would say 90% of the time they don't, but it's good to just stick it in your pocket and keep it there. So now we're going to go on to Hotarm Street. We're almost on to Hotarm Street. That's the same street that I took in uh, another one of my videos on how to get from downtown to the Giza Plateau entrance. We're going to take this street all the way until it ends, head north through Giza, and then I'm going to get out in Doki and get on the metro. So now I just need to settle in. I've got probably about a half hour bus ride depending on traffic. I'm really glad that I held on to my ticket because somebody actually came by and checked it about five minutes after I paid for it. So hold on to your ticket, stick it in a pocket for the duration of the bus ride. I noticed that the bus started taking a different route, so I wanted to show you on the map where I am. Here is the Giza Plateau area, and we are on a street that runs parallel to Haram Street. Haram is the yellow street, and we're on this white street that's parallel. Haram Street had some construction, so that's why we're on this alternate route. However, the bus is still going to get to the same final spot in Doi, where we want to get out. Something to note is that this bus will go past the Giza metro stop, the one that I talk about in the video from getting from downtown to the pyramids. So you can totally get out and you can get on the metro at the Giza stop. I'm just choosing to stay on the bus for a little bit longer so I can show you a different way to go back. Um, just in case you want to try a different way back, then you came in. Here's Giza Square, one of the spots you can get out if you would rather take the Giza Metro instead of the Doi Metro. I stayed on the bus after Giza Square, and I got to see this beautiful view of Cairo University. The domed building that's ahead is the main building on Cairo University's campus. Here is a map showing where we are now. So we've come all of this way from the Giza Plateau, all the way through Giza, and now we're getting to Doi. We are going to get out at the intersection right up here where it says Doi Metro and take the metro just a couple stops to downtown Cairo. There goes the bus. I just got off of it in Doi. I'm at this big intersection right here with this bridge. This street that is um, behind me over here is uh, Tahrir Street. And the metro is just a short walk over that way. So I'm gonna walk over to the metro and get on the blue line, same line I took in the video if you watched it from going from downtown Cairo to the Giza Plateau. This time, since I'm getting on a little bit further down, I only need to go two stops before I'm at Sadat Station downtown. So you might be able to see that red M sign. If you wanna go to any one of those metro 
places or stations I should say and go down to get on the blue line. I've made it to a metro stop, you can see. I'm gonna head on down and get on the blue line. I'm gonna go toward the direction of Shobra. I'm gonna show you when I get down inside where it's signs you need to look out for. Here's the sign you wanna look for in the metro. You wanna head in the Shobra direction. That's gonna take you to downtown. You're getting in at the Doi stop. You're gonna go through the opera stop and get out at Sadat. So you just have to go two stops. I'm on the down escalator to the platform at the Doi metro station, and I'm going in the Shubra direction. I'm only gonna need to go two station stops this time. I'm gonna pass through the Opera metro station, and then I'll be at Sadat, which is Tahrir Square. Something to note is that this metro stop only has one line. It's not a transfer point like at Tahrir. So there's fewer choices. It's not as tricky to find which line you need to get on. So after two quick station stops, I'm at Sadat Station, and this is where Tahrir Square is. So I'm gonna follow the signs to exit and head out and finish up this video at Tahrir Square back, back in downtown Cairo. Exits are clearly marked in blue. Make sure you follow a sign to exit and not a red sign to transfer to another line. And just like that, I'm back at Tahrir Square in downtown Cairo. Thanks for checking out my video on how to take public transit to get from the Sphinx at the exit of the Giza Plateau all the way to downtown Cairo. I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. Check us out on Instagram or Facebook at Egypt Adventures Travel or go to www.egyptadventurestravel.com.